What is up, people? You are back at Dirty Laundry. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and this girl over here is Dana Ward. Jocelyn, did you do your laundry last weekend? I never do laundry. Well, these celebs definitely have, because they look hot. <laughs> so we're talking all about the fashion for 2015. It's been a very busy year for the Kardashians, actually. Yeah, a lot has happened in the past four months, and we're going to break down every single second. So many all black looks to choose from. We're kicking it off with Kim's look at the time 100 gallons this week where she wore Ooh. this gorgeous black gown with a very slight metallic print woven into the dress. Oh. There was some paneling on the top, some sheer sexiness to show off her hashtag boobs. But the best part about this dress is faux show, the pocket. I love anything with pockets. And it's a great new pose because we're so used to seeing the same old celebrity poses over the shoulder, hand on hip. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Northwest is actually here with the family. Mm. She's crawling underneath the dress. So I'm I love it. Totally into this look. I love it. Now we're gonna switch it up and check out Chloe. She was at the 20th Century Fox party. And I gotta say, I love this dress. I think as women, we first look at the outfit and we're like, would I wear that? Would I not? I think it's hot. But like, I don't understand what the pose is. It's her thing. And she's really sparkly, very orange. She's like a carrot from Twilight. A I'm carrot a from Twilight? Yes. I'm Where really, do we just go? I'm really a big fan <laughs> of being tan and putting photos tan are on and like sparkling for the red carpet but oh. it like really really pops out a lot. I love this look and I love that she's like opening the curtain. I think if you wear a slit you've got to show the thigh off like Angelina taught us that. All right moving on to Dana. Guess what? What? It's another all black outfit. Yeah. At the BET Whoa. On the red carpet. She's They're serious about fashion. She wore this Ooh. long sleeved floor length ball main gown, her sleek straight Ooh. hair and makeup were perfection. Right. It's kind of strange wow. though, like look at that cutout. I don't think it's supposed to be there. I think it's an accident. I don't know, it kind of does look like a black straight jacket, TBH, but I still like it. Yeah. Speaking of straight jackets, let's get crazy with another Kardashian, <laughs> but actually a Jenner. We're talking about Kendall at the Grammys after party. She could seriously rock a paper bag and always look really, really fabulous yeah. because she's a model, it right. just like kind of works. But actually this look, I'd rather see a paper bag than this look. I don't like What? It. I know, come on, we're allowed to have opinions. Yes. She's beautiful, she's amazing, right. but I don't like this look. From, from the waist down, it just looks like hippie. It's not appropriate for red carpet in my opinion. Yeah, this dress I just feel like was kind of like a little snoozy for the Grammys. I don't hate this, but I just feel like it's more appropriate for like the Coachella prom or yeah. something. Yeah, and her hair and makeup look gorgeous. Flawless from here up, flawful from here down. The Grammys were overall a huge moment for the entire oh. Kardashian family. Beautiful. This look that Kim wore to a Grammy brunch event might be one of my favorite looks from her ever. This looks like something she would never normally wear. I like to see her in different looks. I love the accordion pleating. I am dying mm. for these accessories. The less is more makeup is so beautiful. Her hair looks tousled. All I can say is Kim, take me to your leader, you sexy Armenian goddess. I love the gold mixed with this bright orangish red. It's bold, it's beautiful. And Kim just looks freaking amazing in it. She just looks so relaxed. So Kim, we're totally into this look. We're giving you four thumbs up like right now. Okay, now it's time for part two of the Grammys after party and it's all about Kylie. And the first thing I notice when I look at this is that dress. I don't know how much all of those beads way, but overall it's really glamorous, very sexy. There's so much skin head to toe that we think we're seeing, mm -hmm. but it's actually really covered. She manages to keep it really classy. I think it's a really cool design, but you know what? Girlfriend better be careful to not step on that train. Oh Did you gosh. see it? It is so long. It kind of reminds me of like a mermaid look, especially with like the longer sleeves. Ew, just, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah, isn't that cool? Are they attached to her fingers? Is this like a sleeve meets glove? Is this a slove situation? If this is a nice I mean? skating costume, I'm signing up for the Olympics. Let's capture the dream. Capture the I love it. Where'd you come up with that? I have no idea where I came up with it. Okay, more Grammys. More Kimberly. We're getting really formal because this is the Grammys. It's so weird hearing you say Kimberly, by the way. Kimberly Kardashian. That West. is her name, but it sounds really weird. This 
creation mm -hmm. is literally a work of art. The detailing was insane. And don't you think Gorgeous. this was really heavy too? That's how she got her body back after Northwest. Mm -hmm. She just walks around the red carpet. She gets her exercise in. But if we're being real, like no one's talking about the dress. They're talking about the hashtag boobs. Kim has a makeup artist for her boobs specifically, and I think it's paying off. It's totally paying off. Plus, I'd like to know what skin oil she is using oh on her cleavage area and everywhere else because she is glowing. I wanna bathe in it like this. She probably does bathe in something crazy like Avion milk, almond milk. Virgin's blood. And when we were watching the show, we noticed that she could not move in this dress because one wrong move and oops, nip slip. So she was just constantly adjusting. And if you're willing to do that for fashion, it means you love what you're wearing. Yeah, but we've already seen her totally naked, so I don't really get what the big deal is. And we have made it to part three of the trio at the GQ Giorgio Armani party for the Grammys. And big sis Chloe went for, get it, an all black ensemble. What? She's wearing some nude strappy heels. I love those and that's my favorite part of this entire look. Because the dress, I think some people might like it. I'm not particularly a fan of this dress. It kind of looked like back in the day. It's like old women would wear these silky robes with feathered cuffs and feathers here with heels and they would like be all sexy at home mm -hmm. alone. It looks like she's wearing that same exact outfit, but on a red carpet in 2015. I don't really like the look, but her skin, oh my God, it's glowing. Her jewels are envy worthy and she's got lashes for days. Um, she's doing that same pose again. I don't know if you noticed. This is totally Khloe Kardashian's pose. Watch out, Angelina, here she comes. I think her skin looks great. I think she is gorgeous, but this dress is not my fave. Truthfully, I'm just nerding out over our next look. This is oh. Kendall, it's gorgeous. The dress, the asymmetrical top, the thigh high slit, the hair, the red lips, the sparkly pointed toe pumps. Even she knows she's hot. Like, that's a good day. Well, she knows she's F hot. F yeah, cause she is hot. I love, 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 love times a million this look. Okay, moving on. Holy mother of Northwest. <laughs> Get it? Holy, you know, the top. Oh, She's I get a mother. It. It's Kim at the Brit Awards, which went down in the UK earlier this year. I don't know how I feel about this one. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. I don't know, I think it's too sexy. I think it's kind of inappropriate. I'm obsessed with it. I love being inappropriate, and I think she should continue to do so. Jocelyn's gonna wear this on the show tomorrow. Most. Get ready. Definitely. We need to get some more Kylie on this show. You guys, check out this more casual carpet look. And guess what? Shocker, everybody. It's what? another black outfit. No. I'm obsessed with her hair. I'm obsessed with the fact that there are about $70,000 worth of bracelets on one of her wrists. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, Mah. I'm a little bored. It looks like she's talking to her boobs here. What was she's she like, saying? She's like, hey, what's up? I've never seen you before. You're new to my body, and I'm going to show you off. I feel like I feel like each piece of this look would look really good separately, but I think together it's a little too much. She's young and this is like really showy. Okay, so let's move on to another look. We've got Kendall and she's looking totally age appropriate. I wanna be like, yes, 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 yes. Do this more often. I love the all white monochromatic look. Those heels are amazing. They're strappy sandals. And I love the pop of color on her lips. It's perfect. She knows what she's doing here. Look, she's having fun. She's smiling. Her hair looks freshly tousled. I mean, I just, clearly I like this look. Yeah, I feel like she's so real life teenage girl, but like the perfect Barbie version. And I love seeing her smile. I love this look. Okay, so we're moving on to Kris Kardashian and she dresses hot a lot of the times. I love a lot of her outfits, even though she's probably twice my age. I wanna borrow them all the time, but this look totally misses it for me. The cutouts kind of look like alien suction cups. <laughs> I don't know. And the fur coat is just kind of too much. But the family kind of is about excess and being big and bold. Um, so maybe it works for them, but I'm not loving it. Yeah, I feel the same way about Ooh. her normal dressing all the time, but mm -hmm. there's just like a lot of animals that died for this coat. I feel like it reminds me Maybe it was me one big one. Cruella DeVille. If it is real fur, I couldn't find anything saying it was or wasn't, but I'm kind of guessing that it was. I actually like the dress, don't like the coat, so I'm gonna say for me, I'm not into this. 
Cool. Okay, you guys, so I know that was a lot of red carpet fashion from the Kardashians mm -hmm. in just the last four months alone. They are amazing, and it was really hard for us to make some of these decisions, so hit the comment section and let us know what you guys are thinking. Yes, and per the usual, remember guys, it's all about the fashion, okay? We don't always have good fashion, you don't always have good fashion, the Kardashians don't always have good fashion, but let's be inspired by good fashion. So let us know what you think, leave a comment below. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward, and we'll see you later. Bye guys. But wait you guys, before you go, click to the left to see our breakdown of the best and worst looks from Coachella. Hint, some of their Kardashians might be included. Ooh, or you can click to the right to check out what the stars were wearing best and worst dress from the MTV Movie Awards. That's to the right. <laughs>